Friday the 13th is directed by Sean S. Cunningham and written by Victor Miller. This is a horror mystery thriller film. This film stars Adrian King as Alice, Janine Taylor as Marcy, Robbie Morgan as Annie, Kevin Bacon as Jack, Harry Crosby as Bill, Lori Bartram as Brenda, Mark Nelson as Ned, Pete Brower as Steve Christie, Rex Everhart as the truck driver, Ron Carroll as Sergeant Tierney, Ron Milkey as Officer Dorf, Walt Gorney as Crazy Ralph, Willie Adams as Barry, Deborah S. Hayes as Claudette, and Betsy Palmer as Mrs. Voorhees. Friday the 13th was released in theaters in the United States on Friday, May 9th, 1980. The film is rated R for sex and nudity, violence and gore, profanity, alcohol, drugs, and smoking, as well as frightening and intense images. The film has a runtime of one hour and 35 minutes. So in 1958, at Camp Crystal Lake, two camp counselors sneak inside a storage cabin to have sex where an unseen assailant murders them both. 22 years later, a local man by the name of Steve Christie is trying to get the place back into shape and open the camp back up for about 50 or so inner city kids who will be there later on. At the camp, the counselors begin arriving and start helping Steve Christie get the place ready to go. Everyone shows up except for Annie, who is the cook who never shows up to the camp. Ned Rubenstein, Jack Burrell, Bill Brown, Marcy Cunningham, Brenda Jones, and Alice Hardy, along with Steve Christie, continue working on getting things ready. As a thunderstorm approaches, Steve leaves the campground to go stock supplies. We later see Annie, who we see earlier in the film, in town, hitch a ride with an unseen person who she thinks is taking her to the camp when that is not the case. Annie jumps out of the vehicle and tries to escape into the woods, but the unseen person catches up to Annie and kills her. As the weather gets bad, with the thunderstorm going on, the killer comes to the camp and slowly, one by one, kills off all the counselors, leaving only Alice alive. Alice hides inside one of the cabin and sees through the window a vehicle pull up outside. Alice is greeted by a middle-aged woman named Pamela Voorhees who claims to be an old friend of Steve Christie and his family. She appears calm and not scared. As Alice tells her what's been going on, her demeanor changes. She reveals that her son, Jason Voorhees, was the young boy who drowned in 1957. Blaming his death on the counselors who were supposed to be watching him, but they instead were having sex. Revealing herself as the killer, she attempts to kill Alice. They fight and struggle several times, and at one point, Alice gets the upper hand and knocks her out. Alice goes to the shore of the lake. Miss Voorhees comes to and comes up behind her, but Alice is able to dodge the attack. Mrs. Voorhees tries to kill Alice again with a large machete knife. Alice gains advantage over Mrs. Voorhees and gets the machete and decapitates Mrs. Voorhees. Exhausted, Alice boards and falls asleep inside a canoe which floats out onto Crystal Lake. I'm not going to spoil the film's ending just in case there's someone out there who has not seen this film yet, which if you haven't, you're really missing out on a great classic horror film. So I'll just leave the ending unsaid. So this film is like Halloween in that it is almost flawless. However, there are some errors or goofs in the film, but you have to really, and I mean really, pay attention and look closely to spot the errors. What was interesting to learn about this film is that the movie was filmed at Camp Nobi Bosco in New Jersey. The camp is still in operation and it has a wall of Friday the 13th 1980 paraphernalia to honor that the movie was set there. The idea behind the scene where the counselors have to kill a snake they find in one of the cabins was to differentiate the film somewhat from Halloween by having an early fake scare turn out to be legitimate as well as establish the characters are capable of taking action if need be. However, there was no PETA around and they actually took a real machete to a real live snake. <laughs> yeah, uh, PETA or the SPCA probably would have been all over them for that. The music in the film is really, really good. It really gives you a sense of dread and terror. The music in the film is done by Harry Manfredini, and he does a really good job with the score. This film is actually scarier than Halloween to me. 
I say that because I have a family ranch uh, down in the Texas Hill Country, and every time I go out there, um, it gets so dark at night unless there's a full moon, and I always think about this movie or its sequels. There are some other horror movies that I also think about as well when I'm out there, but this is one of the main ones that I think about. I mean, at night it just gets so dark and so eerily creepy that it just freaks me out and I don't like to stay out there overnight <laughs> or at night. <laughs> so let's talk about my grade for this film. My final grade for this film, I'm going to give it an A. This film really does a good job of um, setting the tone. And like I said, this film is, is almost flawless. The acting is really good. It's corny at times, but most uh, most of the film, it's really good. Uh, I really liked Betsy Palmer's portrayal as Mrs. Voorhees. Uh, you really believe that she's gone nuts and that her son is, you know, kind of telepathically speaking to her to say, you know, avenge me, mommy, you know, kill all these counselors for me. The film is just... It gives you that sense of creepiness, you know, that, you know, you're, you're not alone out there, that, that something, something or someone else is out there um, trying to make you freak out. But all in all, I enjoy this film. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good start to uh, one of the best horror franchises we have. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, movie review for Friday the 13th. If you're new to this channel, please go down at the bottom, click the subscribe button, also hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have new stuff posted. Also, be sure to give me a thumbs up like on this video and give me some comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. God bless and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello, how are you? Well, I, I'm Mrs. Voorhees an old friend of the Christie's.